The vinyl industry is heavily engaged with the healthcare system. What comes with that engagement is also a responsibility. Being not only environmentally responsible, being wise with what we have and resources that we have. The plastics that are out there today are a commodity. They actually have value. COVID has really brought this to the fore in that uh, vinyl products have really been a lifesaver. One of the greatest aspects of this material, it is 100% recyclable. Recycling in its current form is very innovative, very creative. With more post-consumer uh, materials coming into the spectrum, we can recapture 30% of that and put that into products. We're just sitting on an opportunity. We have been fortunate enough to connect with one of the top recyclers we have here in North America, Norwich Plastics, along with uh, one of the top anesthesiologists in downtown Toronto, Dr. Ali Abbas. We were able to pull this team together and came up with the idea to present uh, what we were thinking to Environment and Climate Change Canada about recycling PVC medical devices in hospitals. So we took our team to Gatineau, Quebec. They loved it and here we are today now ready to launch. We are very excited to be joining with Vinyl Institute of Canada uh, to look at PVC recycling. With this pilot program, we're looking to inspire hospitals across this country to join this and to really be part of that recycling movement. So leaders like Humber River, leaders like St. Joseph in Toronto, we've pulled in the government as a key partner. Taking action to recycle vinyl products in Canadian hospitals will increase the amount of plastics recycled and keep this valuable product in the economy. Everyday products such as nasal prongs and oxygen masks and tubing, these are all technically um, clean products. Instead of putting them into yeah, the garbage, essentially, we now can put them into a recycle receptacle. And every little bit we can contribute to recycling, that financially is money and a prevention of waste that we can put back into providing good patient care. The process itself is very simple and it doesn't add to the staff workload whatsoever. Vinyl um, process is easy as one, two, three. PVC one, two, three is basically in terms of the items uh, that we can capture, IV bags being number one, oxygen mask being number two, and tubing being number three. Toss them into the green liner hamper, which is labeled PVC. As long as the materials are being collected, even if they aren't being dismantled, it's acceptable to our recycler. If you want to be a sustainability hero, take the time, take it apart. I do. These are the hampers that the hospitals uh, get and they deploy these throughout the hospital. The, the hospital staff, they'll take these bags out and they'll put them into the red bins. Our trucks then come and pick up the red bins. Typically hospitals have to pay to have waste transported outside their facility by linking to the Vinyl Institute of Canada. That is no added cost to the hospital whatsoever. We believe that actions by individuals, communities and industry can make a really big difference and this is why Environment and Climate Change Canada is supporting this project so that recycling of plastics in hospitals can be demonstrated and expanded across the country. We have to leave a cleaner planet, a better environment, more resources available to our future generations. This is a great opportunity to do the right thing and to do it consciously and to do it with passion.